Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Returning viewers, hey, 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 hey. Channel members, what's up? What's up? What's up? Um, uh, if you hear some noise in the background, ignore it. I'm at the beach, beachside, yeah, relaxing, chilling. And I was like, you know what? Let me still do a video on vacay. You know, I, I'm gonna still record while I'm on vacay, period. Okay, now, first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and get into Miss Sexy Red, y'all. So apparently Sexy Red, um, you know, she's trending right now on social media because of her new lip gloss line, okay? Her lip gloss line, the names of these lip glosses are absolutely disgusting. I mean, trashy, nasty, awful, and just straight up gutter. They are just gutter. All right. And I mean, gutter nasty. OK, um, she's having so many people giving her so much, you know, hate. OK, she's having so much hate in the comment section. Oh, my goodness gracious. Red, why are you doing this to your brand? You're ruining your brand even more. There's a fine line between being, you know, funny and risky and just just disgusting. OK, um, so basically, as of recently, uh, Miss Red, um, you know, Sexy Red, she had a lip gloss collection about four years ago. All right, and the names are like disgusting. It's one of them is like blue balls, nuts, um, some more things like, um, you know, uh, dish <coughs> charge. And it's like, why are you having these names like that? I mean, who wants to go around and like somebody asks them, oh my gosh, what kind of lip gloss do you have on? And they tell and they tell them the person nut. That's just weird. So Sexy Red has actually relaunched the company and she actually has a manufacturer to make these lip glosses for her. And she's bringing it back. And, you know, the conversation is just like, uh-uh, this is terrible. Now, me personally, I feel like it's nasty. It's very disgusting. But no shit at the end of the day. Why y'all acting brand new? Y'all always want to act so brand new when it comes to Miss Red. It's like, why are we shocked? This is her brand now. This is what she does. Move on, okay? Like, don't be shocked if she's going to do some more stuff other than this, okay? Y'all be acting like... Oh my goodness, she said this, she said that. I'm so shocked. Why are you shocked? Do you not hear her song lyrics? Do you not hear the song that she went viral off of? And you're gonna tell me you're surprised by the name of the collection of her lip gloss? Please stop being picky. And y'all always wanna be having amnesia when, when she comes out with new stuff. It's like she she gets under y'all skin every single time and it works. Watch, her collection gonna sell out. Her collection will literally sell out because people love that about her that people love that about her they, they they just do they love to hear all her nasty little freaky stuff that she has going on and me personally do i think that it's attractive i don't think it, i think it's disgusting it's very gutter like i said it's gutter nasty okay it's i mean i my stomach is turning with the names of these lip glosses it's so nasty but at the same time i can have my personal opinion and understand that people are going to be them regardless okay some of you all feel like your personal opinion should change how a person should act no my personal opinion is nasty, yes, but I understand that's just who she is. That's how I, that, that's how I need to be. So many people are trying to like portray their opinions to change that person's way of living. No, that's not how life should be. Hate it and know that that's just them, period. Moving on to Beyonce, AKA people are saying she is really cash grab Carter, okay? Um, as of recently, she just launched another business Okay, less than a year of her launching her hair care line, Beyonce is now selling you some juicy juice, okay? Um, and she has made this new um, brand, okay? It's called Sir Davis, okay? She wants y'all to be toe up, all right? Um, and this is just literally, like I said, um, months after releasing Sacred. People are wondering, does she need more money, okay? Um, you know, why is everything that she has to come out with about some type of, like, cash grab? Um, now, this is smart. It is great. Um, you know, I think it's a great way to expand her brand. All right. I don't, I don't see really anything wrong with her doing this, honestly. But I just think that personally, I mean, I don't know. I mean, do we look at Beyonce as a, 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 a like a drinking girl like that? I mean, I, I mean, that's not her brand. So I don't know. Um, you know, but Beehive will buy anything that has her name on it. So I'm not going to say, but act like, you know, it won't be successful because it's Beyonce. It's going to be successful. You know, because like the Beehive, if Beyonce made like, adult pampers adults will literally be buying beyonce's pampers and they don't even need the pampers they're just gonna be having on diapers as adults just, just because it's beyonce's name on it you, you see what i'm saying here so i feel like personally like let her let her get her coins and let the let the beehive continue to go broke on things they don't need okay beyonce can literally cough in a cup okay and sell cups of air of her cough for 30 million dollars and beyonce will be a billionaire in two weeks i promise you I promise you. So I will never get mad at a black woman for getting her bag, but I will, you know, address the comments and speculations about her 
being desperate for money. You see what I'm saying here? So I'm never going to say she's broke. I don't think she's broke at all. Beyonce not broke. Like, let's, let's get that straight here. But like I always say, and like people have been discussing, we are currently in an economy where, you know, the uh, inflation and all that stuff is just, it's crazy now, you know, and every tax bracket is filling it. But, okay, when the rich are feeling the, you know, the economy shifting, it's a different type of feeling for us. They may be losing out on what? $40 million a month versus us losing out on like, you know, 400 to 1,000. While we do still feel it, okay? They feel it differently, if, if that makes any sense, okay? But yes, comment down below. What's your opinion on this? What's your opinion on that? Okay, I would love to get into it, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Um, you know, I'm not mad at the brand, but didn't you just tell Megan to make a brand, okay? How are you going to tell your girl Megan to make a brand, but you making your own drink brand too? I guess she, I, you know, I guess she really means, you know, I guess she really doesn't see competition with nobody. That's probably what that means. I think she doesn't see anybody as competition. I mean, that's fair. That is very fair, okay? Uh, period, all right? But yes, comment down below. What's your opinion on that? Will you all be copping this drink? Okay, are you all going to be getting a sip of Sir Davis? Um, who, who the hell is Sir Davis, Beyonce? Like, you, you're like what, what the fuck do you be talking about sometimes? Okay, girl. Um, yes, get your coins, queen. Black queens in business, okay? Beyonce said, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I'm going to take you home with me. Because she got money in her bank and she wants to have all your money. She want to take all your coins. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Moving on to Nicki Minaj. I want to go ahead and get into Nicki, y'all. So apparently she is gearing up to redo her whole entire set list for her tour, okay? She's been on social media right now, um, changing the songs up, okay? She's changing this, changing that. She's just toggling different stuff for her set list because she wants to give her um, fans a fair chance of, you know, chiming in. Yeah, she's chiming in, chime, 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 um, to be able to have this show the way that they want it, okay? I think this is very great. This is very generous because she could have just popped out with a new set list and just did it herself. But she had social media online trending to get her to, um, you know, know what to change her set the song suit from her fans' request. Now, um, many people are wanting to bring back Pop Nikki back, uh, but she doesn't really like that. You know, she was clowning her song called Va Va Voom. Um, she was not happy for that song at all. But I think she needs to bring it back. I don't know why she don't want to do that song, okay? Um, my choices are The Crying Game, Va Va Voom, okay? Whammables, and she needs to go ahead and perform the song "Looking Ass." Okay, if she don't add those songs to the set list, I'm I'm gonna be having my ass walking out the damn arena. I'm just playing. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but no. But yeah, hopefully she does do that. I would love that, y'all. Oh my god, I would. I would. I think I would cry if I heard "Looking Ass" play. I would cry and I would start bawling out in tears for real on myself. Okay, leg two is gonna be a gag for real. Leg two gonna eat. Leg two is gonna eat like that big uncle who get four or five plates at Thanksgiving dinner and act like he ain't eat nothing all day. Yeah, that's how much it's gonna eat. Like that one greedy uncle at the Thanksgiving dinner, okay? Um, just a big, you know, breathing all hard and heavy and act like he, he, and act like he missing meals. But, bitch, you ain't missing meals. And as a matter of fact, you're the reason why I'm gonna miss a meal because you keep eating all this damn food at this damn dinner, okay? Move, move bigums. Okay, so yes, that's how much it's going to eat. Like that one greedy uncle at Thanksgiving dinner. And I'm excited. Um, I think that this second leg is going to really clock that. See, I feel like the first leg was, was great. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like the second leg is going to be, be more perfection. It's going to give like perfection. Okay, it's going to give like nothing is going wrong. Okay, everything is going to be sweet like cinnamon. Yeah, my life is sweet like cinnamon. Um, yeah, I'm excited though. I really am excited for that. Um, now, people really do want Nikki to, this time around, okay, they want her to do some more videos, okay, for the album, um, you know, to help promote the songs for the current album. Um, that's cool. That's great. But I don't know why y'all keep asking for videos. They're not coming, okay? All right. Just like all that money you spent on your, on your tax returns, that's all gone now? Yeah, it's not coming back, Okay. It's not coming back, okay? It's not, she's not, she's not doing no videos. I think Nikki doesn't want to do videos. She wants to go on tour and get a bag for tour. That's, that's her priority, it's tour, okay? Y'all keep asking about these videos, videos, videos. Baby, go on YouTube.com, type in Nicki Minaj music videos, and you have hundreds to choose from to watch, okay? 
I know it hurts. I know you cry yourself to sleep at night because you don't have no new visuals. I know, I know, I know. But this tour is fun to eat, okay? Uh, now, moving on, there's also some rumors and allegations that um, Nicki Minaj will be featured on Ariana Grande's new deluxe version of her album, Eternal Sunshine, okay? Um, they're saying that that could potentially be a feature. Um, listen, y'all, I'm not surprised at that because, you know, Nicki and Ariana Grande, they've been working together for years, okay? So, I, I mean, it, at this point, we need the feature. We need the Nicki Minaj and Ariana Grande collab again because, I mean, it's just been a long time. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming, man. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just being real with y'all. Okay, I feel like for a certain point, period of time, I, I mean, I was kind of worried for the friendship. I mean, I knew nothing really bad happened, but, you know, did somebody say something, you know, that was not too nice? You know, did somebody, you know, storm off at dinner table, you know, <laughs> didn't pay the bill? And, you know, like, well, like, you know, you just don't know. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't know. All right, y'all, moving on to Miss Ice Spice, okay? Um, she is tired of you all, um, you know, giving her these rumors that she is on these, you know, medications to lose weight, okay? Um, she says, I'm so upset that y'all found out about the O word. Okay, y'all know what the O word is, Ozempiana, okay? And she is basically saying that I'm tired of y'all giving me these rumors that I am on that. I'm not on that, okay? She says that, she has been working hard and she's been in the gym. She says that we have officially, um, you know, forgot what it means to lose weight naturally because we're so used to people getting all these surgeries, these BBLs, liposuctions, the Ozempiana, and we just have lost the art of natural weight loss, okay? Now, I get what she's saying. I know that's cute, that's nice, but girl, you lost like 30 pounds in two days. Okay, it, it, I'm sorry, but no shade, but it definitely gave like something was going on. Me personally, I thought I thought she was having a health scare. Okay, I thought she was because I mean, I mean, she was given you know apple bottom jeans to the rotten fucking apple that is no longer edible anymore. Like, what happened to that butt? Like, it's, it was just gone, you know. So I was like, what's going on with her? Like, it's just like you know. So I don't know. I do think though that I'm happy that she's healthy. I'm happy that she just addressed that she just lost weight naturally because she's practiced for tour. I'm happy that she is good, okay? But I'm glad that she also did clock y'all tea because she was definitely, like, upset the child was, you know what I'm saying? Like, giving her those rumors and stuff. But I think that personally, though, um, like I always say, I feel like people need to get out of these people's bodies, okay? Like, mind your business. Why are people so obsessed with, you know, people's body shapes and body sizes and curves? And, and it's like, no, all right? As long as they're healthy, that's my thing. They good. They Gucci. They Gucci Gucci, period. On my set. Um, but yes, how do you feel about this? What is your opinion on that? Okay. Um, but low key, Ice Spice, um, you know, people are telling her she needs to pick up a sandwich or something. Okay. Because, like, she looks scary. <laughs> like, it's getting to the point now where she's going to be looking like a skeleton by next week. Okay. Uh, and y'all, I, I, when y'all say that stuff, it's just, it's just, it's mean. It's, it's really mean because, like, you never know what people are going through. Okay. Maybe she's scared. Maybe she has anxiety health conditions okay so imagine having these different things you're going through and you hop online and people saying you want some type of medication that's just weird to me okay but yes comment down below what's your pain on this what's your pain on that okay ice spice said leave me alone all right you guys as you all may or may not know but cardi b has been teasing her upcoming album and she's been saying that her newest album is supposed to be um you know coming out pretty soon and she's been, you know, doing photo shoots and stuff like that. And she is picking between different photo shoots to choose for her album cover. Um, so she's going through that process now. And um, people are just so excited. They're like, oh, my gosh, it's coming out. It's coming out. Um, I don't know. I feel like that's all cap. I feel like when your work is actually coming out, you don't have time to announce every single step of the way because you're so busy working on the project that you cannot, like, you just can't announce everything. You so, I, so it, It's hard to explain what I'm saying to y'all because y'all may say, well, she's just excited. She's excited. But if something was really coming out, you wouldn't like, okay, guys, I'm about to press. I'm, I'm about to do this. Okay, guys, I'm about to do that. Okay, guys, now I'm doing this. Okay, guys, now it's like, it's just, it just sounds like you're scared. And it just sounds like you are trying to cope with the idea of doing the said thing that you have to overanalyze every single step about what you're doing. Just do it. You know what I'm saying? She's scared. So... I get it, you know, she's trying to cope with her album, you know, that she is scared to put out because she's scared that she's going to flop. I know she is, okay? Um, I know she's scared, and it's okay. You know, it's art. You know, she's been gone for a while. Her numbers have been going way lower than what she has normally done. No shade. But she's going to have to, you know, get used to just putting out music and letting it fly, okay? Um, it's going to build character. It's going to build character, okay? 
but yes now moving on okay there's been some words and some you know things <laughs> being said through the grapevine okay one thing about that grapevine okay the rumors gonna be coming through every single time on my side <laughs> on my side <laughs> Um, Spotify allegedly refusing to give Cardi B's upcoming album the playlist push Atlantic Records demands, okay? Um, rumor has it they're still trying to scrape up the numbers from her last song, Off the Floor. Because as you all know, like I've been telling y'all, her, la- her latest music has not been performing well. And when you don't perform well, your next upcoming projects don't get the proper backing or financial support for the simple fact of your last music flop. You see what I'm saying here? So I feel like... Atlantic is just playing their cards right. They don't want to go bankrupt <laughs> off of one artist. Okay, that's just not right. They have so many more artists to cover and back up, you know. So, you know, this may be what's going on. I don't know if it's officially true, but, you know, this is the allegations that we're now seeing about Cardi B. Okay? Um, I mean, it's, it's obvious, you know. Once you don't perform well, a budget gets cut like scissors at Arts and Crafts. Okay? Um, yeah. But I do think that Cardi B has a chance to come back. She does. All she needs to do is revert back to the face she had in 2018, okay, and change her ghostwriter to somebody else. Party, the ghostwriter party, he's he is just too saturated now. You know, it, it's it's no. And um, Cardi B is not innovative. She's not she's not innovating a new sound anymore. When she came out in 2018, she kind of had a little sound that she could use and you know grow off of. But that sound is now expired, unfortunately. You know, it's like you can't do that no more because it's just played out you see what i'm saying here it's just really 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 played out and she's gonna have to find something else to work for her because nobody is liking what she's putting out recently and i think it's just because people just are just they're not when we're not like either being fed like controversy or being fed creativity we don't want to be we're not interested in your art you see what i'm saying here and when all those things are lacking that then caused your numbers to go down, and that then caused your label to not support you anymore, and that then caused you to, you know, not be able to pop on the charts no more. But yes, comment down below, what's your opinion on this, what's your opinion on that? Let's move on to this next topic, all right? Okay, I see you, Doja Cat. Okay, Doja Cat is recently, you know, she's she's doing pretty well. Um, Doja Cat has just made history because her album, okay, um, Planet Her, has become the most streamed album okay um by a female rapper to surpass over 8 billion streams in spotify history congratulations baby girl congratulations okay um no shade but planning her was that girl okay this new shit she's been doing I, I i mean like i said i'm not the biggest hater i respect what she does because she's staying true to her artistry but at the same time nothing tops planet her i mean planet her is the pop you know it's a really great pop album. No shade. She's not a rap girl. She's not a rap girl. Okay, I'm going to just keep saying that. She's a pop star who has decent to acceptable, okay, um, you know, rap experiences in her pop songs. So I would never discredit her as having a rap, you know, ability, but she's not a rap girl. It's a big, 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 big difference. It's a big difference. Yeah, it's a B I G D I F F E R N N C E E. Yeah. Okay. Um... And I'm just, being, I'm just being real. But I do think that Doja Cat low-key, she could have that same success again if she goes back into that direction that she did with Planet Heart. Okay? Stop all this scarlet and, and, and maroon and red and, 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 and apricot. But wait, though. No shade, though. You know, like I said, I'm not mad that she's doing this new direction because, you know, as an artist, you have to switch it up every once in a while to, you know, keep it fresh. But the thing about people who are interested in listening to art and people who are consumers of art, too much change too quickly it scares people and it makes them like oh my gosh hold on wait what's going on okay so then you're it's just people get confused and when people get confused they automatically will ridicule your art now it's you know it's, you know what i'm saying so you know just do what you did with the planet her era but just switch it up a bit and make it fun again you know but yes let's move on to this next topic okay yeah moving on to miss lotto um apparently miss lotto Okay, I'm sorry, but no shade, but she need to change her, her stage name. It just sounds dumb, like Lotto. Like, and it's just like, I don't know. I just, she needs to do something else. I, I, Lotto needs a rebrand, a new name, a new aesthetic, a new style, because nothing about Lotto screams Lotto. It just screams like I'm borrowing concepts that, is, that have already been done before. You know, nothing about her brand as an artist gives me like, 
oh, okay, like this is me, but I'm I'm doing this new thing, this new style, this new image, this new, like nothing is new. She's just doing what's been working for rap girls. So, you know, anyway, that's besides the point. But yes, y'all, she has officially just now um, received 10 career entries on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, okay? Congratulations, okay, congratulations. Um, people are saying this is a setup because you have been in the industry for how long and you know, this is an accomplishment? That's not good, okay? People are saying that, you know, other female rappers that came before her had that in their debut year. They had over 10 plus in their debut year. Um, like I've been telling y'all, Lotto, she's not an artist who has fully stamped herself as Lotto or like stamped herself as, you know, her own type of vibe. So she's just doing whatever works. And when you do whatever works, typically, and you're following the leader, you know, you don't see massive success because you aren't willing to take risk in your creativity. And that leads to you just being like everybody else. You know, you have medium to subpar results because you aren't really doing anything new. So, you know, it is what it is. But she's going to just keep going, keep pushing, keep making new music. And, you know, try to do something that's fresh and hot, okay? But, I mean, yeah, 10 entries, not bad. It's not bad. It's not like she got five entries, you know? Uh, but I think she needs to go back to the drawing board, for real, because it's not cute. It's just not cute to me. But, I mean, yes, y'all, that's all I got for you in today's video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, tap the bell so you can get an alert every single time I post a new video. And guess what? Uh, guess what? Uh, 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 yeah, I will see you in the next one, y'all. All right, y'all. Be safe.